However, it is still a train that runs on steel wheels rolling on steel rails. Super train designers are developing a new form of propulsion, a complete break from the past, electromagnetic levitation. Friction is the chief enemy of railway designers. No matter how sophisticated the train, steel wheels on steel rails diminish performance. Germany is tackling the problem of rail friction by building a train that travels using levitation. Steel, track and wheels have been replaced by magnetic fields. Unburdened by friction, this floating super train can reach speeds of 500 kilometers an hour. This revolutionary train propulsion system is called levitation. It redefines the concept of train propulsion and it may point the way to a future where floating trains take passengers on super high-speed journeys. Maglev technology does away with wheels, rails, traditional engines and brake systems. A typical locomotive is not even necessary. This train runs using magnetic pulses. As an electric current is supplied, support magnets attract the vehicle from below to the guideway, while guidance magnets hold it laterally on the track. The support and guidance magnets are arranged on both sides along the entire length of the vehicle. An electric control system ensures that the vehicle levitates at a constant distance of one centimeter from the guideway. Power is supplied to the levitation system and the onboard equipment by batteries. During travel, they're charged by a network of linear generators. Propulsion and braking are accomplished through the use of a motor, not in the vehicle, but in the guideway. It functions on the same principle as a traditional rotating electric motor, but with the stator cut, unrolled and stretched beneath the guideway. Instead of a rotating magnetic field, a travelling magnetic field is generated by the current and the vehicle is pulled along on the guideway, contact free. To accelerate from 0 to 300 km an hour, requires less than two minutes and a distance under five kilometers. Floating maglev trains could reach speeds that rival passenger jets. Currently this prototype is kept under 480 kilometers an hour. Theoretically, you could go much faster with this train system, 500 or 600 kilometers or even 500 miles per hour. I wouldn't say that you could go as fast as the sound speed is because then you would produce a tremendous noise on Earth which nobody would like to have. Stopping is accomplished without brakes. Electric motors slow the traveling magnetic waves until the train stops and settles back to the guideway. A journey on a flying super train is a magnetic magic carpet ride. Smoother 
quieter than conventional trains and swifter than anything on rails. The acceleration is much faster because the train is much lighter. It speeds up faster than a conventional system. And then, of course, the tremendous increase in comfort, in riding comfort, because the, the train is not touching the guideway, and this is really a flying train and a very stable condition, and this gives a very high ride comfort. The maglev has been designed to run on guideways. Each section elevated as needed to avoid any dangerous crossings or geography. Power to each section is controlled at stations along the route. As a vehicle passes between two segments, the next one is automatically switched on and the previous one is switched off. More power is installed on inclines and accelerated stretches than on level stretches, thereby being used only where necessary. The Transrapid Maglev system is a very safe train system. This means that uh, the train cannot uh, collide uh, because uh, only one train can be propelled by one substation. So there's always a distance of at least 30 kilometers or 20 miles between two trains. And they also cannot go in opposite direction. This just doesn't work because of the physics. And in addition to that, uh, the Transrapid Maglev train wraps around the guideway, so it just cannot derail. The Maglev changes lanes by using an ingenious design of junction. The continuous steel beam is elastically bent by an electromechanical drive. The train can pass through the junction in the bent position at speeds up to 200 kilometers an hour and in the straight position at full operating speed. The smallest train unit consists of two sections, each with 90 seats. Trains of up to 10 sections can be used depending on traffic requirements. Neither the load nor the train's length has a bearing on performance. Safe, comfortable, quiet and fast. Sounds like the ultimate super train. One thing about design of high speeds, there is limitations on how fast you can go, it's particularly with a steel wheel on a steel rail. It reaches a point where there almost is a lifting effect. The, the friction between the wheels and the rail diminish to the point where you can't add any more power to it without spinning the wheels. This is where the maglev systems have a much superior situation because their magnets are fixed to the ground and they're pulling the vehicle along. Floating trains could be the future of high-speed transportation. As a result of extensive testing at the Transrapid Test Facility in Emsland, Germany, the German Railway Commission has approved Maglev for commercial service. After lagging behind in high speed,